Over the past five or six years, Miami Beach has been struggling with increased street flooding, a growing problem because of sea level rise. In November 2013, Philip Levine was elected mayor of Miami Beach and made promises to make the streets dry. On November 6, 2014, in his State of the City address, he praised the city's progress. The four lanes of Alton Road, originally scheduled to open at the end of next summer, will now open this December, seven months ahead of schedule. Under Levine's leadership, the city began major construction on Alton Road to install water pumps. Almost $15 million have already been spent and another $485 million have been committed to install 58 pumps over the next five years. Pippa Seacrest is the co-founder of the Miami Ad School. In October of 2014, she relocated her business to the Wynwood neighborhood. But before the move, she lived with the disruptive construction on Alton Road. We've been in this building for 20 years and the, over time the water has gotten worse and worse and worse to the point where it rusts the undercarriage of the cars and it, it's scary to walk through it because you don't know what's in that water. It can't be good for you. The students would put garbage bags over both legs and tie them to try to get to school because the school was like an island. Workers on Lincoln Road in Alton such as Michelle Sacco, have experienced the effects of sea level rise. It's always a mission to get to different stores. Like if I have to go to CVS, I have to find a way to go all the way around it, or I don't even know how to, I'm going to get there. But I do see a lot of people that have to walk to their cars, and their car is literally like in a flood. Like I don't know how they're going to get to it. Like it's ankle deep, so or more sometimes. Because of the road closures, many businesses have experienced less foot traffic including Gabriel Collimer's restaurant. Well, the flooding is reduced because of the construction, so it's not, in terms of flooding, it's not affecting us that much. Um, it's overall construction that is affecting us the most. The flooding has not been just an inconvenience. It has even led to tragedy. Right in front of the school, there was a huge ditch in the pavement, and I was worried about cars, because when you pulled out, it would pull you into traffic. And so I called the city, and I called the Department of Transportation, and I probably called 30 times trying to get somebody to come out and fix the roads and no one ever did. And so then I was home one night and I got a phone call from the school saying that someone on a bicycle had been hit and killed by a car. And I knew exactly where it had happened. It had happened in the exact place where the road had become so eroded from the water underneath it. And um, fortunately it wasn't a student, but unfortunately it was someone's loved one. So then very soon after that, of course, the insurance start, company starts contacting me and the city and everybody, and the road got fixed within a day. Um, but it was sad that it had to take so long. Even if the new pumps are only a temporary solution, local business owners and workers hope this will help save Alton Road and the rest of South Beach. Well, I'm not looking that far ahead. Uh, I'm just looking for today and trying to, to get this going. And uh, the construction is not helping yet. Construction is a passing problem the problem with the water is not going to go away. Hopefully the construction fixes it, but the rising water is a huge issue. It's kind of scary because I've actually heard people say that South Beach might be underwater in like 30 years or something. So it is scary and that's why they're doing all this construction and I'm happy that they are um, because we want to save South Beach. But it's, it's, you know, it's definitely an issue that needs to be solved. This is very frightening because it could be foreshadowing what happens next.